so what I want to do now is I want to go to medicare.gov and show you how um, it works. I'm not going to go into details. This is a part of the course. And so it just shows how I actually work up my clients and how I walk through what plan is going to be better for them. And so I'm just going to show you real briefly how that works. But basically, you can go in here and you can do find plans. And I will tell you, this site will look different by the time um, annual enrollment period, which is AEP, comes around. Uh, so just know that right now it looks this way. But of course, it's going to change because it's going to have to have benefits for 2025. Right now, it just has the 2024 benefits. So you would come in and you would put in your zip code. Um, let me see if they got one. So if you have a zip code that has two different counties, you're going to have to pick the county um, because certain plans are not offered in all counties. So that's why it's asking you that. Uh, we're going to look for a Medicare Advantage plan and we're going to do fine plans. We're going to pick that we do not get any help paying for the drugs. This is like for folks with low income cost sharing. And yes, we want to see our drugs and then we'll go to next. So then you just type in the drugs and add that and and you can pick you can change that maybe they're getting it every three months you can change it to 90 and then all the strengths would be here um and then let's add one more and, is, and so now we're adding in a brand drug but it's telling you hey there's a generic version available do you want to switch and we can put yes and we'll select the dosage. We'll just do this one. And we'll do three ML pins and we'll just do one pack sold in two. And there we go. All right, so now we're going to do done adding drugs. And now it's going to ask you for your pharmacy. So it's just going to come up with these pharmacies that are close to where you are. Uh, so we'll pick this CVS right here on Lake Murray. And we'll click done. And you can click multiples, but I'm just going to pick one for this particular example. And then it loads all of this stuff up for you. And what you're going to notice about the plan finder is it defaults to showing you the lowest drug plus premium cost. Uh, you can change that if you want it to do it by lower lowest yearly drug deductible or lowest monthly premium. So you can change all that up, but it defaults to lowest drug and premium cost. Now, the thing about it is this is July the 25th when I'm doing this recording. And so with Medicare, you can only become eligible or a uh, your effective date can only be the first day of the following month in which you enroll. So if we were to enroll somebody today, their effective date would be August the 1st. And the way the plan finder works is this giving you the cost for the rest of 2024. So from August on to December. All right. So for this particular plan, it's showing that Aetna has the lowest drug and premium cost for the drugs that we put in. And it's saying it's $1,608.40 is their retail cost. And then they have no monthly premium, although they have to continue to pay this Part B, B premium because in order for you to be in a Medicare Advantage plan, you have to have both A and uh, B. And so that's what that's saying there. And then you can go in here and you can add these two comparisons. So if I was working up this client, I would look over here and say, okay, they've got pretty good um, additional benefits like hearing, dental, and transportation, primary care doctor zero, specialist 12, that's pretty good. Uh, and then you could, I may pick another plan since that's Aetna, and then you could pick a Humana. And then you just come and you hit compare. And then once you compare, there's your star ratings. There is a star ratings module in my course, uh, which is a pretty cool one because, so that you can actually explain these things and know how all this quality stuff works. And then it's got the health and drug plan deductible, how much you pay for services. So I may say 3900 in network. That's not that's pretty decent. That's not a lot of risk out of their pocket. Uh, so that may be something that the I want to recommend to my client versus this one over here that has a $75.50 for in-network. And so you go down. This one has transportation. This one does not. Maybe the person is not really sold and needing transportation. That's This is just stuff that you look at. Uh, and then it goes down through all of the high-level uh, services and what they may actually cover. And then when you get down here, you notice one of the drugs aren't covered. So now you need to figure out which one it is. And so if you go under plan details for this one and you go to drug coverage, it will actually tell you that it's the insulin glargine that's not covered. So it's not covering it. That's why the cost is so expensive. So what we could do 
happens, we could go and we could change the actual um, medications. And so, yeah. right here, we go to change drugs. And let's say we want to remove this one. And now we're going to add back just a brand name Lantus. And we do this and it'll take us back through done adding drugs. And then now we notice it went from over $1,600 to 410 bucks. And we go to drug coverage and it has the Lantus is covered and it's covered for the rest of the year. It would cost them $175. And then it tells you what you would pay each month. And what I love about it, it tells you when you will get into the donut hole. But for 2025, the donut hole is going away, so it won't matter. Uh, and so anyways, that's how you look at the drug part of it. Let's go back and see. Let's go back to search results and see what happens now that we put in the brand name insulin. And see, now you see Humana's come up as the one that has the lowest drug and premium cost at $410. And so if we kept scrolling, we could see that all the way down. Aetna's also $410. Um, and so that's just an overview of how I use the plan finder. Now, here's the thing. you Once you find a plan that the person likes on the plan finder, that's not where you're going to actually enroll them. You're going to have to enroll them in the actual insurance carrier that you're going to put them in. So if I was going to put this person in Humana, I would actually go to the Humana's agent portal. And so I'll show you what that looks like on my screen. And so here's my agent bookmark. And as you can see right here, this would have all of my agent stuff. And so I would have to go into the Humana agent site and do agent sign in to actually sign this person up for a Humana plan. Okay, so that is just very high level of how I use the plan finder. And the reason I use the plan finder is because it's a public tool. So therefore, I feel like it gives the more trust to the uh, customer or the client because I'm using something that's public facing so that they can actually go out and do the same thing and, and look and explore these plans versus me logging into a portal that only I have access to and they do not. It, to me, it just doesn't look as trustworthy. And also, if something comes up that say this, say Cigna came up first as a plan that was best for them, I'm not contracted with Cigna. And I would let them know I, I'm contracted with X, Y, and Z. I'm not contracted with this plan. But if they decide that that's the best plan for them, then that's the plan that they should go into. Uh, and so that's another way just to build trust.